Okay, friends, so I made it to the hotel. Um, it's really early. I landed at 6 a.m., made it through the airport by 7, and then got on the bus to take me to the hotel. Um, that, I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, there's a story behind that. I can't just tell you guys. I, yeah, I'll tell you guys when I get to the room. Um, I just finished breakfast and I'm waiting for my room to be ready. I'm gonna take a nap and then I'm gonna go out explore. It's raining. It's I don't feel like it's that cold, but it's it's raining. I'm tired. We made it to my room. I've been down the lobby like sleeping. Um, I tried to get an early check-in and they're like, oh, we're booked. I paid, um, I think they said 20 pounds. So I can eat breakfast and then that will go for my um, early check-in. But it's okay. I'm in my room now. I'm going to give you a quick room tour. And then I'm going to close my eyes for like an hour and then shower and then go out. My first tour is at 4 p.m. It's a food tour that I'm doing on my own. Um, it's not part of the Iceland airline tour package thing. So I'm really excited about that. This room is really cute. It's very tiny, but I think this is like a European type room. It's very cute. It's so cute. Let me show you. There's a door. So this is the way it looks when you come from the door. This right here is the bathroom. Okay, so you got your toilet, and then you got your shower, and your gel, hair and body, that's good because I forgot to bring mine. You got this cute little door, um, uh, coat rack, and then we've got our sink and our mirror. We got a full length mirror here. You come in, here's the bed. Um, your somewhat closet. Actually, there's no place to put your clothes. I guess that's right there where you hang your clothes at. And then we got an iron. Look at this cute little desk and chair. It's plastic. And then we got our coffee and tea area. A TV. And then this is my view. And then I also learned that my name Ama means grandmother. So, Ama and grandmother. That's what the person who checked me in told me. His son is like, I don't, what do you say? 11 months and all he says is Ama, Ama, Ama. <laughs> okay, y'all, that's a cute little, quick little room tour. It's a little chilly in here. I'm glad I brought my long pajamas. I am trying to get ready. It is almost two o'clock. My walking tour starts in two hours. Um, it's gonna take me about 20 minutes to get to the concert hall where we're meeting at. Uh, it says it's about an 18 minute walk and your girl's walking. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear. It's actually not that cold here right now. It's 43 degrees. That's kind of warm, right? Well, <sighs> <laughs> warmer than what I expected so I'm not gonna layer up as much as I thought I was going to so I think I'm going to wear these pants it's fleece lined and then I have my tank top on and then I'm gonna put this base layer on top and then pop on this sweater that is my thought because I was expecting like 13 degrees. Now when I go for the Northern Light Tour, if it's happening, I highly doubt it because it's super cloudy. Um, then I put on um, a pant on top of this one. Uh, let's see here. I gotta pack my backpack and then I'm gonna head out to explore. I spent a little time on the phone with my mom and I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna lotion up and then get dressed and I show you my outfit. I am starting off with this base layer. I did say I wasn't going to put pants on top of this, but it's raining and I don't think these are water resistant. So I'm gonna put some 
pants on top of this. This is my base layer. I've got this tank top on. I'm going to put on another shirt and then um, some more and then some more pants. So my pants I'm going to put on are also they're water resistant. I are water repellent. So I know it won't be as wet as it could be. I'm ready right now. I put on my base layer. Well, this is a base layer top, but it's super cute. It's like it's wool. And then I have on my um, water repellent pants. I'm going to put on my hiking boots. I've got my socks I'm going to put on, which are wool. And then I got a tag hanging on there. And then I'm going to head downtown. I'm going to put my contacts on and then I'm going to head out. It is after two right now. My tour begins at 4 p.m. where we're supposed to meet at. Super excited, you guys. I'm in Iceland. I'm in Iceland. I am about to head out. I'm going to flip it around so you can see what I look like. I feel so adorable right now. Um, I had my hat on for my Insta story. It is a really cute little hat. I'm going to put it on for you guys too. So I'm about to head, I'm calling it downtown. It's over by the water where I'm meeting the walking food tour. Um, we're supposed to meet there by 4. It is, I think it's, I don't know what time it is. It's like after 2.30 I think. So I have plenty of time to get there and take my time and show you guys the sights as I go along. I'm super excited. I can't wait to show you. There's the outfit. There's my hat. I'm looking super adorable. Got my winter coat. I've had this for years. I had it when I was in Alaska. I got on my hiking water resistant, water repellent pants and then my water resistant shoes. So we are about to head downtown to meet the walking food tour. So I made it here. I'm way ahead of schedule. It doesn't start until 4. I think it's like Harper. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but it's like a concert hall. There's a bar in there. There's this beautiful, um, like, um, a gift shop that they have these beautiful blankets, but it's $250. I would buy one. <laughs> but that's a little out of my price range. But it's probably, it probably lasts you for years. Like, your grandkids' grandkids would have it. So now I'm just waiting for the tour to start. I'm gonna head back in. The walk was amazing. single thing I've had the beard I had the death shot <laughs> we walked up the rainbow street you guys it's been great <laughs> My room is 
it's actually quite dark. <laughs> I think that might be a light, but I don't know where the light switch is for it. Let's see. Will that do it? Nope, that turns that on. That does nothing. Okay, so I'm back from the food walking tour. That was a lot of fun. Tried a little, a lot of different things. I tried a hundred year old um, um, shark. Um, and then we had, our dessert was this ice cream that, so the rye bread that they have here is a sweet rye bread. It's not like the typical one that we have back in the States. Is a sweet one and there's this family owned restaurant that whatever rye bread that they have left over they make it into ice cream for the next day it was absolutely delicious and then we had this little pastry donut thing that was really good um, you guys I am just so proud of myself for like going out there and doing stuff going on that tour by myself I know it seems like oh she could do everything you know she's not afraid of anything I was very nervous. <laughs> I was very nervous. But I didn't let that stop me. Um, there was two other people who didn't have someone with them. One was a gentleman. He was here with his sister. And she ended up like hurting her neck the day before. So she was back at their hotel resting. And then uh, there was a woman from Germany uh, that was there by herself. And there was a couple from Florida that was there and then we had like five or six people from um, Ireland and I think that was it. It was a lot of fun, I enjoyed it. Uh, let's see here, so I came back to the hotel, I walked back to the hotel, you guys, I am like so freaking proud of myself. <laughs> um, I walked back to the hotel and then um, I checked in at the desk to see if the Northern Light Tour was gonna go on and she said, no, it's canceled, it's cloudy. And then she told me to just email the company and see if I can get scheduled for the next day. So I go to their website and it says the tour is still on for today. So I call the number. I was like on hold for like 15, 20 minutes. And the guy was like, no, it's going. So I have to head downstairs um, in front of the hotel, which is bus number 13, that I will go see the Northern Lights. Hopefully, you guys. Hopefully, I get to see the Northern Lights. If I get to see them here, that'd be freaking amazing. I had to come all the way to Iceland to see the Northern Lights. <laughs> I'm trying not to get my hopes up, but I'm going to, oh, I lost a glove. Like, literally, I just bought those gloves for this trip. Just bought them, and I lost it. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna put this sweater on on top of my base layer and my tank top, and I still have my mitten things um, that I can wear, and I have my hat and my scarf. So I think I'd be okay. Well, let's see what time it is. It's eight o'clock, so I have a half an hour before I have to head downstairs and wait for the bus or whatever's picking us up for the Northern uh, Northern Lights tour. Okay, friends, <laughs> this is the sweater. <sighs> okay, friends, so I am back. It is 12.30 in the morning. I didn't take you out. I didn't film out there because we went out back by the airport and, well, past the airport. And it was windy. It was cold. And we did not see any of the northern lights. Super bummed. But I do have the opportunity to go back out tomorrow. Um, I just have to email the company and be like, hey, I want to reschedule. We'll see because on tomorrow, Sunday, so on Monday, I have another tour that starts at 8 a.m. And it's like 14 hours, I think. I think that's one of my longer days. So I'm not sure. if I'm, I think I'm still going to email in and then see how I feel tomorrow. Okay, you guys. Uh, I mean, yeah. Tomorrow, I start at 10 in the morning, and we're doing the Golden Circle and Secret Lagoon. I gotta make sure I pack my bathing suit. I think I need to pack a towel. I don't know, but I have to look at it. But I am exhausted. Thank you so much for following along with me today. I hope you're enjoying this little series I'm doing. 
my adventures in Iceland, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So if you're liking what you see, go ahead and hit that like button. How about you subscribe? And I do my best to keep you guys updated. Okay, have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.